and welcome to this new episode of Photography Behind the Scenes. It's time again for a session on film. This time I'm out and about with two friends. I've got the Pentax K1000 loaded with a roll of DM action film, which back when I was born in the year 2000 was, I believe, a cheap standard film you could buy in the drugstore here. My dad gave me a few rolls of this film he had left somewhere in the cupboard for 20 years. According to the box, the film expired in 2005, so the results are going to be interesting. So we were walking on this road here across some fields and I found some power poles to shoot. This is the outcome. I like the composition and the subject, however the colours are looking rather washed out in a negative way here. We continued to walk along the road and I knew I wanted to get a portrait of both Ahmed and Joseph, so we did just that by the side of the road here, where I got one photograph each. These came out nicely. The film has this light magenta shift going on, but apart from that, I think these portraits are decent. Further down the road, we came to this road sign and mirror, which just seemed too suitable for a self-portrait of the group, so I got this photo. I like this one, I find that the composition is strongly appealing with the many layers it has. It's got the guys in the foreground and then the mirror and the road sign in the middle which subframes us inside and then we've also got a little bit of background. Apart from that, I think the colours turned out beautifully here. The road continued and eventually led us to some sheds and other farmers' houses where I found these two horse carriers which I thought might work as a subject. Here's the photograph. The subject is a bit random but with the simple composition I think it works quite well. The colours here again are leaning towards the magenta tones which I guess comes from the expiration of the film. Then only a corner onwards I enjoyed the entrance and garage space of the house. I imagined it was possible to create an interesting composition by adding a person in frame, so I asked Joseph to stand in for the photo. Thanks. This is what I got and I still like it. I'm fond of how the composition leads into this corner space and gives a sense of the space. I find the general style of the house quite admirable, which just adds to the interest here. Next, as we approached a forest, I enjoyed the scene how the road leads into the forest, so I got a shot. This came out okay. The expiration becomes a bit too visible here for my taste. The colours are leaning into this magenta colour cast, which makes the photo look a little muddy in a way. Do you know what I mean? Anyway, we followed the road and went into the forest, where I found a composition as I turned around and saw how cool the road was looking winding through the forest. The photo came out a little dark and dramatic looking, even though the actual scene wasn't that dramatic. I still really like the composition though, I guess I have a weak spot for roads winding through forests. The forest wasn't so big and so we came out again quite quickly and found ourselves in front of these fields. I was thinking of trying a composition that required a slightly longer focal length than 28mm, so I switched to a 28 to 70mm. Ah, lens cap. <laughs> I was trying to get a closer shot of the distant fields with the mountains in the background. This is what I got. I like the composition. It's cool how the fields create these non-horizontal lines going through the photo. I also enjoy the various layers that are stacking behind each other up to the mountains at the back and then lastly to the sky. Next I asked Joseph again for him to model for me and positioned him on the field. Three, two. One. This turned out quite nicely. Then I mistakenly set the GoPro to time lapse, so I don't have any proper footage from that day left. Here are two photos from that time frame this first one of the power poles, which I think turned out great, and this simple landscape shot of the scenery is okay, but a bit boring, I think.
So, here are the last shots of the little trip. We found this lonely bus stop, which looked quite shootable, so we just hopped out the car for a quick stop. I loved the random character of the car parking half on the road and half on the grass left with the doors open, therefore I got this photo, which I think turned out nicely. So that was most of the roll, shot during that fine excursion, but I still had some shots left and I documented the process for a few. This was on a fine sunny day and I was at my parents where I washed my shoes and let them dry on the balcony which just looked so random and in that way funny so that I wanted to shoot it. This is the photo, I love it. It perfectly captures the randomness I was going for and I'm enjoying the harsh lighting here. Then, this was later on the same day I believe, the sun was getting low and shining into my parents room creating some beautiful shadows. So first I wanted to get a wide shot of the room with the sun acting as a backlight to capture the general atmosphere of the room on this particular afternoon. Next I turned to the TV because of the interesting shadows and got this shot. I love this. I think my liking for this photo is biased though because I get nostalgic when looking at it seeing as it's my parents bedroom and I see little details in the photograph which accurately characterize my parents. Then I don't remember whether this was the same day or not but this is looking out from my parents balcony and I wanted to capture the fine day that was going and got this photo. This is okay, there's no proper composition going on and overall it's a little unphotographic I guess. Another photo I got in my parents' place was a good old self-portrait. Do you know those typical I'm shooting film self-portraits in the mirror with the camera in the photo? Yeah, that's exactly what I was doing here and I think the result is actually pretty cool. One last photo I shot at my parents' place is this photo of our balcony with a cat sitting in the holder for some flowers. I think this is a cute photo. I really sense the vibe and relaxation the cat must be experiencing in that spot. Then, I've got one last photo to show. This one is back in Melly's apartment where Melly's mom's cat was chilling on our bed, which, for the pure cuteness, I had to get a shot of. So those were some photos from the expired roll of film. I hope you enjoyed this episode, even though it was a bit all over the place. If you had a good time, leave a like on the video, that would help the channel to grow. Consider subscribing if you haven't yet, and I'll hopefully see you again next week in the next video. Until then, goodbye.